it's no secret I'm a hairy gal. Waxing breaks me out and laser does not work on me, which is why a good shave routine is a must. This Smooth Legend 3-step shaving kit has been a game changer for me. It makes my shave last so long, doesn't give me ingrowns, and my skin's so smooth it feels like I have laser hair removal. I top it off with this aftershave oil that makes me look like a glazed donut. beauty hacks every girl needs to know if you want your perfume to last longer put some vaseline on the area before spraying if you don't have time for your nails to dry get a cup of ice cold water and stick them in i promise it works every time if you're in a rush and don't have time to self tan or spray tan this stuff is a must it works wonders and leaves the most natural glowy tan you just spray this stuff on, blend it in, it rubs in really easily, and this is what it looks like. Here's the before, and there you have it. Like and follow for more hacks. I used to be so beautiful, now look at me. My actions are unbeautiful, it's clear to see. Esthetician and I'm gonna show you some beauty hacks that you probably didn't know. Vaseline. If you take a little bit of Vaseline and put it where you usually put your perfume, it will actually last longer. Free Britney. Setting spray. Now, if you usually put your setting spray like this, <laughs> stop and do it like this. Dampen it just like this and then slowly put it on your face this will make it last longer this will put the makeup into the skin it will set everything it's amazing do this to remove any dark circles under your eye here is the hack Get yourself some coffee coconut oil and mix it and place it under your eyes and on the other and leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you're gonna look like this and then you're gonna wipe it off Do you have blackheads, small bumps, uneven skin tone, or oily skin? I've got a one ingredient mask that will transform your skin in less than 30 minutes. All you're gonna need is one egg. First, separate the egg white and the egg yolk. Then beat the egg white until it's nice and frothy. Once you see these white bubbles, it's ready. Apply the bubbles on a clean face and wait for it to dry. Egg whites help oily skin, brighten your skin, tighten your skin, combat blackheads and diminish pores. Once it's dry, rinse it off and then apply the egg yolk. Egg yolk is actually a natural moisturizer. I prick it open, apply it all over my face and once it's dry, I rinse it off and like to retighten my pores with a quick ice facial. I do this once a week and it's amazing. Okay, this is my favorite beauty wellness tip ever dry brushing. I do this religiously before all of my swimwear shoots just to help with my strawberry legs and just to even out my skin. It is life changing. So what you do is you rub this brush all over your body from the soles of your feet towards your heart in a circular motion. It stimulates circulation, makes your skin look radiant, smooth cellulite and strawberry legs. And it actually eliminates toxins and rejuvenates the nervous system. I do it every morning because it's just so energizing. And I always finish with a body oil that's rich with vitamin E. Just don't do it on your face and don't do it while your skin is wet. Happy brushing! This one's for my big chested ladies. Men, keep it moving. If you've got some sag, loose skin, and stretch marks, this simple three-step routine was made for you. It helps firm and tighten. It helps reveal new skin, helps smooth out stretch marks, and gives your tatas an overall hydrated and youthful glow. Tips from a former beauty queen, where I share the tricks I learned during my reign as Miss Arkansas. Let's start with fake eyelashes. If you're having trouble hiding the strip, add black eyeshadow over the band before applying them to your eyes. This will help them appear more natural and blend in with your eyeliner.
question to find out how you can get the lip injection pink look without actually getting lip injections. I think y'all all know what I'm talking about. You know that natural sort of pink, like I'm not wearing anything, but these are just my lips, but they're just the perfect color look. When I tell you I tried maybe a hundred million different lip products just to find this one color pink. This is gonna sound crazy, but just stick with me. So we're gonna take one dot of concealer and we're gonna just put that on our lips. Okay, now we're gonna take a red lip tint. I know this looks crazy. And we're just gonna put the lip tint over. Look at that. It's like a lip transformation. Sometimes I'll even take a lip liner and just underline underneath a little bit to clean up. This is just the perfect your lips but better look. You got dark pits? I got the tricks. Exfoliate? It'll help get rid of the trapped hairs, which could be causing that shadow. Shave with a butter? It's way less irritating. It doesn't dry you out. Use a gentle pigment treatment to help lighten those pits. Are you struggling with dry and chapped lips? I got you. With this simple method, your lips will be revived in minutes. Firstly, apply a light moisturizer on slightly wet lips. Top it up with some lip oil. And now we need something thick to seal in the moisture. I like using Vaseline for that. Leave it on for about 15 minutes or longer and you'll see how plump and nourished your lips will get. Some people may know this, some people were taught and some people weren't, so I'm making this video for those people. There are different levels of hygiene when it comes to wiping yourself down there after using the restroom and some people just, you know, culturally know how to clean themselves. So there's different levels and I'm not gonna shame anyone for what they do or don't do, but I'm gonna tell you the cleanest way right here is what I call a booty hose. You turn it on from here, turn it off when you're done, and when it's on you have different levels based on how hard you squeeze. You do not need the booty hose. You can use, you know, a water jug or you don't have to use water at all. It just depends on, you know, your level of cleanliness and whether you feel like doing this or not. But what I recommend is the best way of cleaning yourself would be to wipe until you don't see anything. Make sure you put the wipes in the toilet. If you're using baby wipes, which I love, make sure they're flushable. And if you can find some, decomposable. And then you go in with the water just to mwah, like finish up the cleanliness and make sure it's top notch. Now, this isn't part of hygiene, but it is part of cleanliness. I always recommend to make sure there are no skid marks in the toilet. So you have that toilet brush, you wanna use that after you go, after you flush. Just make sure it's clean, especially if you're living with other people. But again, this is not necessarily hygiene, it's just cleanliness. And when you have cleanliness, you are leveling up your vibration. So this is just about leveling up. No. No, 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 no. Exactly.